orange suit. Oh, smoke right there. I didn't realize, okay? Don't get all mad. I found out I was pregnant at college, so I thought it would be a good idea to come back. My mom wanted me to have an abortion. <laughs> Why would you think a child would ruin your life? Wouldn't it make it better? She didn't see it that way, and I, that felt, I felt bad for that because I'm her kid. <laughs> Life expectancy is four years less than overall U.S. population here on reservation, and the death rates are 670% higher. We're not expected to do much. Have kids and take care of them. Ethan, Ethan. My girlfriend and I, we had kids. But son of a bitch, it's tough. Like that guy right there, he won't wear cheap diapers. 20 bucks there, a pop, his ass wife. <laughs> Why didn't you want a girl? They cost more. Imagine. All right, this is Brandon Ferguson with Tony Brave. You're on the Pod Tribe. The hottest story on the news: South Dakota banned abortions in the state of South Dakota. The Oglala Sioux Tribe president wants to open a women's clinic on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. I took a very strong position when I first heard about the ban, and that ban was the exclusion of rape, incest a pregnancy caused by an act of violence. Today's the beginning for all Americans who really believe in freedom to keep the church out of our politics. I love it. <laughs> She's the first um, tribal president that I've seen you know, do anything for women. They're just gonna face a lot of opposition. There's a lot of anti-abortionists in the state. She's an extremist. Now, I'm an extremist to some degree, but, you know, I'm, I'm an extremist with scruples. We don't want baby's blood spilt here, you know? Did she just not want to be president? <laughs> so the next step is to uh, well file charges on them because they violated my constitution all over the place. I never really experienced anybody talking about women's rights and what they deserve. If we want to solve the problems that cause beautiful young women to disrespect themselves, building a building so that they can come and learn about sex is not going to solve the problem. The center, though, is not just a place to pass out condoms. It's actually an educational center and will offer mental health services to women who have been victims of rape and incest. Sometimes my thoughts get to me. Like I'll think it's a bad place to be in the world. It's a bad place to live in. When you stand in the middle of that community of craziness, you have to be real clear about who you are and what you believe in, mm -hmm. because they're gonna come at you from all different directions. And no matter what they do, guess what? You're gonna still stay standing because you believe in who you are and you believe in what you stand for. Here's some information on one of the laws. All right. Okay? All right. Thank you. I used to have pity for myself because I'm a woman in Native American too. I'm at the bottom of the bottom. Cecilia gave me a feeling of like, you're not at the bottom. You are someone who deserves to be respected and treated right. I, 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 I,